advantage of that. Biggest game of the day thus far, and they'll kick it off here from Pizza Hut Stadium. And Boogs will get it first. He'll take it from his own 19 and fall down at the 28. That's where the man from Atlanta will go to work. Yeah, and speaking with Boogs right before this game, I said, you know, is playing little man, how much did that help you? going into this as you see the ea major appearance ten right apiece. there ten apiece <laughs> no belts but uh you know books told me he said you know what it wasn't really the scheme of little man that messed me up he said it's on me i haven't been as crisp with my reads as i need to be and look for me to clean up my act on offense in this game with that randall cunningham so this is going to be a big drive for books let's see if he can turn it around and you know turn into the books that we all know and love that throws lasers all across the field well, the deck has sort of been set against him with the way the draft has gone, but that's sort of the charm when you talk about mud draft. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Yeah, it gives everybody a chance, and some players like it. Like, you know, if you're a competitor trying to get into the scene, you might not be able to beat Joke if he does it, if he has his best playbook and his best personnel, but then you get into a tournament where he might have to improvise a little bit and he maybe he doesn't have his best stuff. Now all of a sudden you get a better chance. So I like my draft because it, it really is the most accessible mode and it's the type of mode that will help propel this sport uh, further. First and 10 for Boogs as it goes up under center with Randall Cunningham, the legend. Can he attack it with a stretch play? We'll hand it off. Shady will pick up a few. Let's call it four. It's a big tackle right there from J.C. Jackson. If he doesn't make that tackle, Boogs is off to the cripple. And I like what Boogs is doing. He comes out in his gun tray wide flex, but then he'll, you know, audible down to some single back tight doubles, mix in a little bit of stretch. It's a good way to keep your opponent off balance. Second and six. Opening drive here for Boogs of the ball game. Currently one and one in group play. Choke trying to get the bye. as Shady cuts it back, and here comes third down. Now here you go if you're Boogs. This is a little third and awkward. You know you're a pass-heavy type player, Coltrane. But now you get yourself into that third and three. You kind of want to run the ball, but do you really want to go three and out without putting the ball to, to the air at least one time? I think you got to slang it right here if you're Boogs. Minute already gone by. Here's third down. He hasn't shown us a passing play from under center yet. He might have to call a timeout here. Does he have time? Gets the play off, and I think he actually had a little offsides on the defense, so it won't matter. Never touched him. Well, he actually picked up the first down. But he'll accept it to get those two extra yards. Oh, he'll accept that offsides with the quickness, Scott. And, uh, you know, one thing I want to call out is both of these guys are tied for MCS appearances at 10 apiece. we let this play unwind. Yeah, that's a lot of times that we've seen Joke and Boogs over the years. But the thing that's interesting to me about it is he got Boogs has made $91,000 in those 10 appearances, which puts him at 15th all time. Joke is at $155,000, at, puts him at 5th all time. So if you're Boogs, you've been able to get here consistently, but you've never really got the money back from what you put into it. He is due to make a big run in one of these tournaments and get that money up. But here he finds himself, you know, potentially facing elimination of this tournament. This is a huge, huge game for Books, probably more so for him than Jokes, seeing his Jokes, you know, automatically gonna move on out of this group. Here's a stretch play on second and 10. Oh, and to add more to, to your point, he could make all four events this year and only make 20 grand. That's scary. That's tough. And, and, and he has. Let, let's remember, Books actually set, made a little bit of history this year. He made every live event that there was back in Madden 17, and he's done that here in Madden 20. I'm here! Jeez. It's a Von big sack. Miller will sack him up, and that'll be fourth and long, and it's time to get your boot out. But the point I want to finish making, Scott, is yes, he has qualified, locked in for every event so far in Madden 20 this year as Books. That makes Books the first person ever to qualify for every event two years. He's done it in Madden 17 and 20, so Boogs has set some history so far in this season. Well, Joke able to stand strong on his open 
opening defensive stance, and now he's going to get a chance to get the ball at the 19-yard line. Yeah, and if you're a joke, a win here is going to guarantee you winning the group, which guarantees you a bye to the Elite Eight of this tournament. And once you make the Elite Eight, you guarantee yourself $10,000, and that puts you in a $10,000 game because once you're in the Elite Eight, you win that game, you're in the Final mm -hmm. Four, guaranteed 20000 so definitely, even though Joke's going to advance, a lot of implication for him as well uh, in this matchup against Bugs. How about these two legends facing each other here in a group stage? Possibly a do-or-die situation for Bugs. And ages ago when I played, Scott, you remember these games. When you go up against another legend, you always want that win under your belt. It's something you can bring up down the line, and uh, it's something that sticks with you. You definitely, you know, remember your wins against those elite players, and you'll take them anytime you can get them. Saquon trying to find the edge, not there. And what Joke likes out of this I-Big formation in this um, Denver playbook is this is the only playbook that has the RPO stretch out of the I-tight formation. Usually you see it out of an I-twin tight end type, but this one you could come out in that normal I-big and you could throw that RPO pass to the tight end running that quick post route. Look out for that later on as this tournament progresses. Kyler Murray will audible here on second and 10. Three minutes gone by, Scott Cole RG with the uh, Saquon. Going to make it third and short after a gain of eight. And that's going to be the Achilles heel for Boogs. Does he have any type of run defense with this 4-3? He told me, I'm not confident that I could blow up the run every time, but I'm confident I can contain it. Doesn't want to let up any big plays, but I'll tell you what, on third and one, Boogs would love to shoot a gap right now and blow it up in the backfield. What do you got, Boogs? He's got that Deion Jones. Speedy linebacker needs him to come up big here on third down. Saquon will dot the eye. Look for Books to try to, if it's a dive, he's got to try to run through one of those A gaps and blow it up. And he can't get there. They'll move the chains. Fresh set of downs for Joke. Yeah, Books with his user defender just makes his initial move to the left side. The runs to the right. It gives him no chance to shoot that gap and make a play. Another big first down for Joke. Hollywood goes to the right side this time. Double tied in to the left. And they'll hand it off to Barkley. Cuts back against the grain and able to pick up a couple. It'll be second and six. And if you're at home, Scott, one thing to pay attention to is a lot of the elite runners, and Joke showing it right now, they don't just come out and snap the ball a lot of time. They're audibling around, they're motioning, they're doing whatever they can to get the numbers match up. It, it really is a chess match the way they pick these run plays. Saquon staying on his feet out near midfield, and that should be the final play of the first quarter in a 0-0 zero to -zero ball game. A little time for some H2O. Yeah, always good to hydrate up there on the main stage. Joker Grizzled Veteran knows to keep the H2O by his side. Getting it done. And he's in control right now. Got the stop on Bugs and has continued to march down the field. Milk this clock away. He's going to get the ball in the half. Saquon to the outside. One man to beat. He better not catch him. He and he will. Touchdown, Joke. And if you are Bugatti Bugs, that is not what you can allow to happen. You need to make them work. You can't let up the big plays from Saquon Barkley. Joke just stays relentless on the ground, gets outside to the numbers, keeps changing the, the ball arm for some reason. All the, the young kids are doing that nowadays. I don't like how it looks, but that's a big run right there from Joke. You know what I'm saying? When they're running and they're just spamming RB to change the ball hand, as you'll see it right here. Whatever works for you, look at them. And then look, whoop, whoop. They change the ball, change the ball, change the ball. Able to get in for the score, the opening score of the game. Not catch well, you said Bugatti Bugs. It's, I've seen more like Volkswagen Beetle Bugs so far. That offense has been really contained. And there's another sack. This time it's Kerrigan. And again, Bugs had the crossing route coming over the middle. He said it. He's seeing that he has people open, but he's just not able to get the ball out in time. And now 
that just that quickly he's, he's got himself in a third and long here scott boogs needs to do something to get some momentum back in the three games he's played thus far this being the third he's faced third and long quite a bit he, he just hasn't gotten in a rhythm so far and the thing that's scary about that is he picked this vikings playbook strictly for the offense that was supposed to be his strength and you know so far he's not putting up the points he expected but he's still very much in this ball game Let's see if he can get, get a chunk here, make it a fourth and manageable. Best case scenario, pick up the first. Cunningham in the gun. 19 is what he needs. Randall. Searching. He's going to use his legs. He'll slide down right at the 30-yard line. That'll pick up 12. Here's fourth and seven. You got to go. He's going to go, and it's not a good sign. He's motioning his slot receiver and using him as an extra blocker, but it's only a three-man rush. So now you're wasting a receiver to block when they're only rushing three. It takes away one, an extra route on the field from you. You got to stop here, Boogs. Boogs just not as crisp on offense as we're used to seeing. And like you said, Scott, this is a huge fourth and seven right here. Has to get to the 37-yard line to continue the drive. Bugs making some adjustments. It'll move Slayton across the formation, and he'll use a timeout. Not enough time to get him all the way across. Yeah, I mean, you, this is such a big play. It's a first-half timeout. You need to make sure if you're Boogs, you get your best play on offense out there, and you got to make sure it's set up correctly. I like that timeout. The question is, what is he going to do with it right here against that grizzled veteran right there? joke and when you don't have your playbook you're just a couple seconds off from your rhythm how that normally is that's absolutely true coltrane takes you a, a couple extra moments to maybe find that exact play and formation you want to run fourth and seven once again after the timeout cunningham looking to the outside and there's two legends hooking up and maybe the greatest of all time jerry rice will haul it in it's a beautiful play right there by Bugs. A nice comeback route to one of the GOATs, Jerry Rice, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. I've always said the comeback route, one of the most underutilized routes in all of Madden. And Bugs picks up a huge first down right there. He needs to keep this going. Good pocket. Look at this pocket, Scott. A little extra time, he'll just throw it away. When you think about those GOATs, the Jim Browns, Jerry Rice's, Eli Mannings. Oh, stop. The troll train. <laughs> He's going to get into the hall. Can't have the last name Manning and not put on a gold jacket, especially with two Super Bowl wins. If you're joking, you figure he's going to be prepared for this stretch right here that Boogs wants to go to. He hasn't run anything but stretch in this formation so far. Second and ten. Hands it off to Give it up. Shady. He's played at this time of year. But the bottom line to me is the prime continues. And we talked about that animation yesterday where, when he was making this draft. Like, oh, he took Shady. And you're going to get that weird locomotion <laughs> carrying the loaf of bread. Yeah, it's the loaf of bread animation. You're running with the ball the, the exact way your coaches tell you not to. It looks a little bit swaggy. But uh, Boog's happy to take LaShawn McCoy because he said, you know what, despite him holding the ball like a loaf of bread, his carry rating was better than all the other options Boog's had, you know, in that halfback round when he was drafting. So he went with McCoy, a little bit less speed but more carry. Here comes a huge third and seven here at the two-minute warning. That's two timeouts to work with, trailing by a touchdown. We remind you that coming up at halftime. And these are two guys, man. Uh, you know, in their road to get here, they both went five and zero oh in online elimination. You had Joke taking out guys like Shakobi, Kerry, Henry, who we'll see in this tournament. Last year's defending champion, Kratobin. And Bugs, not so bad himself, took out Little Man, AKG, Pav, and Guru. So both of these guys did phenomenal in the online leading up to this. Cunningham. And that'll be a timeout. One, one thing I won't miss, RG, when I'm calling football this fall is dueling commentary with me and Brandon Goddard. <laughs> 
If he'll let me call on Saturdays, I'll let Brandon do his thing on Sundays as they punt it away. And this will find its way out of bounds at the 19. Yeah, if we got paid every time that happens. <laughs> We'd be two very rich dudes. You need to put that in your contract. Now, every time that happens, you get a little bonus. <laughs> wet, wet your beak on a little something. I'm okay. If, I mean, it doesn't have to be money. Chicken wings is fine. We've had some good wings out here already. Yeah, you, you trapped me into that stuff, man. You know exactly what you're doing with that. A little extra crispy. I tell myself I'm not going to get into it, and then there he goes. So first and ten. And this is a big 149 before the end of the first half. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice. If it all came together. Murray up under center. Galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. That's a good sign right there if you're bugs. And that nickel defense, he was worried about his run defense. Choke went to 11 personnel, tried to run the ball. Books blows it up. But now you know Joke's going to get back into his bread and butter, probably going to get into that strong close formation. And this is where Books has been having trouble so far in this tournament. Here it is. Well, all the guys have been blessed to get Jadavion Clowney in their draft. That man's been putting up some work here in Group A. Pivotal game here. Joke trying to wrap up the bye, avoid the wild card round, and Boogs is just trying to hang on. And look, this is what I talked about. Look at Joke. He's audible and around, not just calling any run play, making sure he gets to a place where he likes the numbers. But no, Boogs that time says no. And that one's getting interesting. You got a third and 12, and Boogs still has one timeout left. So you get a stop here, he's going to get it back with. A little chunk of time. Yeah, this is what we call momentum play, Scott. If you're bugs and you can get that stop right here and give yourself a chance for another drive before the half, that's going to give you some much-needed momentum. And there he goes. Gets it done right there. He's going to have about a minute to get it done. Uh, that's bad, man. Big run, man. Halftime, we'll hear from James and the guys. Been a good one so far. And now Boogs with an opportunity almost for a return, but he'll walk out of bounds at the 31. 55 seconds to get it done, no timeouts. All right, this is it if you're Boogs. You've been shut out so far in this first half. You're talking about the offense is the strong suit of my game. You, you got your gun, Trey Y flex, which is the formation you wanted. You have Randall Cunningham. You got Jerry Rice. You got McCole Hardman. You got some goons. You just got to go down the field and get it done. The problem is on the other end of the sticks is one of the top defensive players in the world and joke. But if you're books, you're one of the top offense, offensive players in the world. And a shutout is just unacceptable. Cunningham. Come on, Up underneath. Game. Uses the speed of Hardman to get to the outside and steps out of bounds at the 48. You would think even a field goal right here would give you some sort of momentum. Oh, exactly. Just getting some sort of points, Coltrane. That, that's what you need to do. I mean, if you get some points, you can come out in the second half, get a stop, get the ball back with a chance to take the lead. Look how aggressive Joke's being right now. Those safeties on the left side way in the box. Really, the only speedster out there, though, is that Hardman. And Joe, and Boogs does an audible to put him at the tight end formation, the position. Up top to Parker! It can't oh! hold it oh, in! The strokeage! That is just so unlucky for Boogs. He does the possession catch to the 90 overall Parker, and he somehow drops the ball. I haven't seen that all year and that's devastating you've been setting it up all game long you finally go to the post it looked like he had the deep dig open he went for the bigger money made a great read and just gets unlucky but if anybody's built scott to put that behind him and keep on trucking it's books he's a grizzled veteran he has some of the best mental out of any of the competitors but your heart has to go out for him on that one that was a tough tough break cunningham Clean pocket. Look at this pocket. He uses legs, needs to get out of bounds, and he does. That's very admirable, Scott. The way Books has just stayed in this pocket so far, uh, it's very high level. Most guys, you know, your casual Madden player, they're going to hike the ball. They're going to keep on dropping back, which is going to allow those ends to get upfield and get after him. Books, obviously comfortable staying in the pocket. 
and he's taken some he sacks, Lord, but you can't be afraid to take a sack. you got to trust your offensive line, step up in there, look for running uh, lanes, try to buy some times, and that's what he did. We'll have a look at that other game, some highlights. James and the boys coming up at halftime. So it's Big Scott, because if he doesn't get this, he'll have to consider a punt. So this is another big third down, big play after big play. Joke sent four this time. Boogs puts it up top. Jerry Rice will get there. Touchdown, Boogs. Make a play. What am I doing? Make a play. And look at Boogs. He's talking. That was the momentum he needed. And that's what we're talking what about. Doing, he bro? threw up that same oh, that route earlier to Parker. Play. Play. And he got very unlucky. Most <laughs> people would have thrown a hissy fit. They would have been out of their mental. Boogs is mentally tough as they come. Stays locked in. Stays focused. Makes the big play on third down. Gets himself back in the ball game. And this is what you expect when you got two grizzled veterans battling it out. Just what the doctor ordered for Boogs as we have the Snickers replay at this touchdown. It's Cunningham to the GOAT, Jerry Rice. And part of that is the personnel right there, Scott. Randall Cunningham has that high throw on the run rating, the throw power. Uh oh. Saquon will step out of bounds at the 44. Still has that one timeout. So a field goal definitely still a possibility here if he can get a. Quick hitter over the middle. Yeah, if you're Bucks, you got to lock up right here. Choke with one timeout. You got to keep him in the middle of the field. Just, you can't, you don't want to let him get this field goal and, and have a, you know, a lead going into the second half and getting the ball. Got to lock up here if you're Bucks. 18 seconds left in the first half. Murray hit as he throws. Ooh, Choke is frustrated. He had the flats wide open. He was trying to slang it. Bugs with the four-man rush. Gets the sack. Choke not happy. Clowney getting in there. Forcing Choke to use its final timeout. 14 seconds to go. Just going to run dive. Try to break a big one with Saquon. No dice. Hunter on the tackle. Trying to get back to the line. No, sir. So thanks to the late touchdown. So through the first two quarters, 7-7 seven, seven between Boogs and Joke. It's been a classic. Let's check in on the other game with James and the boys. Scott Cole, thank you so much. All right, let's take a look at Crush taking on Little Man. Not a whole lot of offense until Crush finds it on the sideline and Marvin Harrison will rumble in for seven, making it 10 to nothing. Uh, a lot of punts in this ball game. It was punt, 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 and then all of a sudden a long pass. All right, think you are the best head-to-head -head Madden player around? If so, take your talents to Anaheim, California, where DreamHack will be organizing their next Madden tournament featuring a $25,000 prize pool. Registration is limited, so don't miss your opportunity to compete against the best Madden players around. Visit DreamHack.com slash Anaheim for more information. Some pretty good players here in the Snickers Players Lounge. You see Goes there. You see Henry, little young Kev. Serious Mo chilling back there. Dreeny chilling back there. So let's get it back to the game and we'll send it back to Scott Cole and RG. Thank you, James. You see the Group A standings joke on top. Close out this one, you get the bye, but get interesting, especially in that other game with Crush sitting in the basement, but he's got a lead. Yeah, it's, it's, that crush game is going to be huge because that's probably good. If Bugs would be able to win this one, he'd definitely be able to advance. If Joke wins this one, he definitely guarantees himself that bye. And then that last game, you know, th those guys are pretty much playing win or get in. So there's just implications all over this place. And this is how you like to end a group with everything on the line, no matter where you look. This is what the MCS action's all about. Will point differential come into play as Joke will start with it first. In a 7-7 ball game. This is kind of how he's done it so far. Not only here at the challenge, but throughout his career. A lot of patience by Joke. Just has yet to grasp that bell. He's been real close. Yeah, he's been close many times and 
You know, he's a guy when you ask him, hey, what's more important to you? Is it the money or the belt? When he tells you the belt, Scott, he truly means it. He has done almost everything in Madden there is besides oh, win one of those things. Same with Bugs. And you got to think one of these guys is going to be able to accomplish that dream one day. It's just, you know, who, who will be able to do it first? It's not easy. Been so few winners. We've had the opportunity to call a lot of those belts. It's been an honor. Third and three. I formation. Dalvin. And Cook will pick up the first down. It's just, uh, when they run that dive, it, it, especially against that nickel defense, it always seems like it's on that right side of the field, and that gap opens up around that C gap. Every time, you just bend it a little bit to the right. And these guys have been having a lot of success out of this eye big formation. Right there, you see that? Kind of break it over to that C gap. Try to get up the middle. Saquon. Now over 100 yards in the ball game for Joe. It's a gain of three. It'll be second and seven. Just methodical, matriculating. So just going back to this dive over and over again. And Book, you're going to want to stay away from the middle on Books. What he told me he's doing is he's in a nickel formation, but in the middle, he's got big John Henderson, the legend. It's a lot of beef up there in the front right there with Hendo, Scott. And then he gets audible. He uh, puts Clowney in a position where he can do a package and get Clowney in the middle as well. So he's got two of his best run stoppers in that middle trying to defend that dive. Just hoping for a shed here on third and five. The spin does fall forward as Dunlap's able to rock it out. And here is a fourth and one, and he's going to go quick. Oh, man, this is it. Momentum play. Hands it off to Saquon. And there's the end of the drama, first down. And we saw Little Man do that same thing to Bugs in the last game on the goal line, got in a fourth down situation, hurried up, spammed the dive before Bugs could get it set up, and got the first down. Joe hit him with the same maneuver right there and had the same success. So first and 10 now, just shy of the 50 yard line. There goes Bugs with a baseline right there to make sure this corner didn't follow the receiver to the outside. I mean, the chess match going on right now at the line of scrimmage between these two. Hollywood to the right. He'll motion out. Gasecki the tight end. Cook trying to work his way over the right side. He'll gain two. That was good defense right there from Bugs. You saw Joe try to go back to that right through that C gap. And, you know, Bugs just right there had a bunch of hats on ball. That's, that's the type of defense you want to see right there. If you Bugatti Bugs. High formation once again. Cook this time's got some space. He'll break free down to the 34-yard line. Let's go, Let's go. I mean, Choke just relentless with this dive. Knows that Bugs doesn't have the trusty 3-4 defense that most people go to to stop the run in Madden 20. And he is just sticking with his game plan right now. He is going to force Bugs to show him that he can stop the run. And even when Book stops the run, Scott, it's a you know one or two yard gains. He hasn't really blown him up in the backfield too much so far, a shot a gap. He'll be taking you all the way through the wild card rounds here in group A and B today. That's Barkley. <gasps> Take him out the draft pool. Almost. Speed. Got out of the grasp. That looked like it was going to the crib. Oh, look at the shoestring tackle right there from Book's just using defender. <laughs> And Books continuing to stick around here on defense. This joke likely just going to milk this. Damn, bro. Milk this clock to the fourth quarter. Get ready to put your fours up. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Joke has had it for the entire third quarter. And we just have five minutes remaining. Books might be going home. How brilliant is that if you're Joke? You're going up against the number two passer in the entire tournament. And, you know, you're doing whatever you need to do to just keep the ball out of his hands. You take the entire third quarter. Here you are taking some in the fourth. He has that chew clock on. He's just really going to put the pressure on Boogs by milking this clock and limiting his possessions. 
Second and eight now, we'll have a timeout. How did I forget One that, that joke certainly upset he had to spend. It's because he had that chew clock on by accident, so it made the play clock go way too far down. He didn't have enough time to audible. And you saw Joe kind of smack his hand against that chair. He knew he made a little bit of a mistake right there. See if that timeout comes back to bite him. Shannon Sharp moving across the formation to the right side here on second and eight. Books has yet to touch the football here in the second half. You do got it. You just need to punch him in the mouth one time. Make him fear running this ball. You got to land a hit stick, shoot a gap, get a tackle for a loss. Here's that play clock going down again. Goes to the right side. And he'll cut it back at Saquon. Make a tackle, bro. We'll move the chains so fast. inside Take the red zone of the, the nine-yard line. The good news for Book right there, Scott, is he saved the touchdown with that user tackle. The bad news is this is just going to allow Joke to milk even more of that clock. Joke's trying to take the whole second half with him on this drive. And Saquon will just walk in. Touchdown, Joke. <clears throat> I mean, that, that was a clinic on how to just run the ball. Can block perfect. Your Joke. And he showed you why he's been the number one rusher coming into this tournament. He is going to stick to that game plan. He is going to ground and pound. And if you're Books, you find yourself in a situation where you know you got to answer back on this drive to keep the momentum going. Because if Joe gets that ball back, the chances of you seeing it again are pretty slim the way he's been running the rock. And if you're playing at home and you got a 4-3 defense and you're wondering why you can't stop the run, Books will tell you why. <laughs> None of these guys can. You see Books, yeah. he's not even messing around with 4-3. He hasn't even sniffed it. He's just sitting in the nickel trying to stop these big packages out of a nickel-type defense. I mean, he's in a tough position, but he went with the offense over the defense, and that's even, that's even more of a reason why he needs to perform on these kind of drives. Cunningham, and this is going to be intentional grounding as he throws it away from the pocket. And, and, and I guess my point was you don't have the 3-4 to get in to try to stop the run. Yeah, no. You have to stick with the nickel, and Joe can certainly take advantage of it. He sure has, and right there too, Scott, if you're Boogs, we talked about it, the, this is supposed to be your strong suit, and then you get yourself into a second and 26 through an intentional grounding. He just hasn't been as sharp as we're used to seeing him on offense so far. I don't know if we credit that to mistakes made by Bugs. Uh, you got to give the credit to Joke's defense. I mean, nobody was open right there. Bugs once again. This time he'll use his legs. It's been really the only silver lining has been Randall Cunningham has been able to salvage some yards, but here's a third and 15. Yeah, that Randall Cunningham, he's got 88 speed, 93 throw power, 92 throw on the run. I mean, he is a legitimate weapon. And Bugs did a good job right there picking up a chunk with that speed. What's his kick rating, Dina? <laughs> he got hey, he's one of, the, he's one of the best punters of all time. Randall like, Cunningham? What, what, was it a 90-yard punt, something like that? It's the Bears oh, in, the, does have that in the Fog Bowl. You wouldn't know that because it's it, against the Bears. Yeah, it, it, it had a lot of bounce to it. Let me put it that way. Cunningham getting free. And he'll slide down at the 37. Here we go. If you're at home and you're a Bucs fan, stand up. If you're a Joke fan, stand up because you got a fourth quarter momentum play coming up on fourth and three. Good job of rallying, though, Biggest play of the game thus far if you're Reginald Brown, a.k.a. Bucs. Needs three. Got to get just to the 40-yard line for Boogs. Or he's going to be in a whale of trouble. Three-man rush once again. He's got A. Cunningham to the outside. Parker. And this time he hangs on. And Devontae Parker, the same one that dropped the post route for him earlier in the first half, comes up with one of the clutchest plays I've that. seen. Gets smacked on contact on that big fourth down and makes up for his drop by holding on to that for Bugs. And Bugatti's back in business.
here in the fourth quarter with two minutes left. Two minute warning. Ball at the 28 yard line for Boogs. A little bit of motion. He was handed off that time. It's shady. And McCoy will get one. No gain on the play there. Second yeah, but obviously a field goal. No good right here. And I'll tell you, as a passer, as this field shortens up a little bit, it makes things a little bit more difficult. We've seen the majority of his passing plays have come on that deep post route for big gains. So not even a yard. Just a couple inches on first down. So officially a second and ten from the 27. Field goal won't do it. Under 90 seconds to go. To the outside, Randall L. And Jackson's right there, the speedy cornerback, to wrap him up. Joe doing a good job just keeping everything in front of him. And th those are the type of routes you want to force Books to throw if you're Joe. Just a, a little drag route, click on, make the tackle. If you're Books, you're going to have to cook up a laser right here, Scott. you got to find a way to get somebody open. Under a minute to go now. He's had some success with this deep dig route from the tight end position. It's Jerry Rice right now that you got to watch out for on the right of your screen. The 18 is a yard to gain. He's probably going to have that backside slant from Parker. He's back to throw. Bugs. Pick and go. Oh, right in the hands of Bush, God and he can't damn. hold on. I know you guys want Bugs and Madden Bowl. We know. Chokes upset. That was a tough read from Bugs. I, I will say, Bugs Devin Bush at 86 Lock overall. He's got some speed. He's got some hit power. But coverage and interceptions aren't going to be a strong suit. But if you're Bugs, you're still playing with fire right there. Severely hit in the hands. It's going to bring up. A fourth and seven. Fourth in the game. Okay, I see you. This is it for Bugs. Look at the focus of those players, Scott. Got to get the playoff. Cunningham. Buy some time and just throws it. Oh my God. And it will be incomplete. And it's a turnover on downs, and Joke will have it. Book still does Jesus. have all three timeouts. Uh, that's tough right there for your Books. He's going to need a miracle to pull this one off. He, he does have all three timeouts, like you said, Scott. But I think Joke very well right there. Likely secured himself winning this group. And, and on top of that, here, getting himself that buy into the Elite Eight where he'll guarantee himself $10,000 in this Madden Challenge. And if you're Bugs, you got to be wondering what happened in that crush game because you're probably going to be relying on the outcome of that one to dictate whether you move on or not. He needed crush to get crushed. Yep. And last time we checked in, he had a lead. I like how they keep us kind of, you know, yeah, I, 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 I like the being in the dark. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm excited for those highlights now. I'll tell you that much. I know it's all going to come down to that. If Joe can hold on here and go three and zero, oh, and the groups earn that coveted buy, so he can avoid the wild card round, and we'll see him playing on Saturday. I'll tell you what, if I'm booked right here and I stop him and get him the fourth down, I'm going for the punt block. Not enough people go for the punt block in that situation, Scott. We've seen one this year. It's actually the first I've ever seen. The first things first. You need to stop them right here for your books. You need to protect this four yards, but the game's over. Can joke end it right here. Saquon. Going to get it to the left side. He'll get it to the outside, and night-night. This one's over. Joke will go 